Welcome back to the channel all about cooking for beginners. And today, in keeping with our 6 ingredients for under $6 series, we're making shakshuka, a recipe you can eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Ingredients are on the screen now. So to start, we have our half onion and our bell pepper. You can sub this for a hotter pepper if you like, but I like bell peppers. So dice those up and then set them aside. We then get our pan on medium high heat, add some oil, and add just the onions, letting them cook down. Once we get some good browning on the onions and in the pan, we add the bell peppers to cook them down, and then the spices so that they can bloom. Now the reason for this is that spices have a lot of volatile compounds, meaning they release into the air. Basically, if you smell it, it's not in your food. However, a lot of those compounds are fat soluble, so we bloom those spices in oil to capture those compounds instead of them releasing into the air. This process is called blooming. Toasting them in the oil will also unlock new compounds for a better flavor. So we let them bloom and cook the peppers until they soften. Next up, we add the tomatoes and a bit of water just to clean out the can. We stir it around to evenly distribute and then bring it to a boil. Once it begins to boil, we lower the heat to a simmer and then let it simmer uncovered for the water to evaporate and to concentrate the flavors. While that's simmering, let's crack our eggs. For this, I like to have three bowls. One for shells, one for cracking, and one to store all the eggs. The reason why I like to have a bowl dedicated to cracking is because this way we can make sure all the egg yolks are intact. If one of them breaks, we can just toss it out. If we only had two bowls and I broke all the eggs into one bowl, if I broke a yolk, then we'd be stuck with it. This way we get intact yolks on all eggs. Once the tomato mixture is like a thick salsa consistency and I can draw a line in the bottom of the pan with a spoon, we are ready to add the eggs. Make indentations with the spoon to serve as landing spots for the eggs. Then pour the eggs in one at a time, but go slow and be gentle to ensure they pour one at a time. We're going to cook the eggs by covering them and letting it gently simmer. We do this until an opaque layer just forms over the yolks, but they're still jiggly. This took me about 4 minutes. If you like your egg yolks more well done, just cook it longer. And with that, your shakshuka is done. I like to serve mine with crusty toasted bread to soak up the egg yolks and tomato juices. I hope you found this recipe useful, and for more videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.